Hello, my name is Andrew Beatty and I presented at May University Hospital in November 2018 with a stroke. Yeah, it was a... I had my stroke on a Thursday morning. I had planned a nice relaxing morning working from home. Uh, I had ankle surgery the month beforehand, so my leg was still in the boot and I was still crutching around, so I found it difficult to get to and from work, so I was doing quite a few mornings working from home. I was still on uh, 75 milligrams of aspirin at the time. So I'd made a few telephone calls and about 9.30 to 10 o'clock, sometime around then, I crutched over to the fridge to get a bit of food, more food to eat, and suddenly my left eye ceased to function. It presented to me as, as if I was dizzy because everything was cross-eyed, uh, and yet I was still kind of stable on my foot, feet. Uh, so thinking, hmm, maybe this will pass. So I crutched over into my front room and while I was there, my left arm ceased to function. I couldn't find it. I had to sort of find it with my right hand. So that is when the word stroke first came into my mind, thanks to the fast ad campaign, the TV and the posters. So, but I think I'm still also in denial. Can't be a stroke. I mean, I'm too young. Uh, so uh, maybe it'll be okay. At which point my flatmate came down as I was crutching over to the couch, which I found difficult with my left arm not working. Uh, and she looked at me and went, you need medical attention. And I was going, yeah, I need medical attention. Now, do I need the GP or do I need 999? Uh, so she called the neighbours in and they looked at me and went, 999. So John, my neighbour, called the ambulance at around 10.15. And it, he timed it. It took about 28 minutes for the ambulance to get from Castlebar to Westport. The guys came in, had a look at me, uh, had a look at the aspirin that I was on. Uh, and bundled me into the ambulance at around 11 o'clock. At which point I was slurring my speech and my left leg had ceased to function. I was still going, keep your left arm moving. So I was kept trying to pump and work at my left hand to not let it cease to function because I just couldn't believe that I would, it would cease. So uh, they drove me over to the emergency department and I arrived in the emergency department in May University Hospital at 11.28. So, yeah, arriving in the emergency department was great. Uh, I was wheeled in and suddenly surrounded by a whole pile of healthcare professionals. And there's something actually very reassuring about that. You know, I knew that I didn't have to do anything more. All I had to do was be a patient and they would take care of me. And there was something very nice and relaxing about that. So uh, they wheeled me in. Everyone was fantastic. They all introduced themselves. They explained very clearly what was going on. They put the cannulas into me, uh, did the stroke test, and explained that I had to take me down to the CT machine. So before I knew it, I was put onto a trolley and wheeled down to the CT machine, uh, scooched over onto the CT. Uh, they did the tests, wheeled me back up. Uh, Prof O'Malley then came in and explained that it was a clot in my brain and that I would need to have thrombolysis, severe blood thinner. Uh, so I got my first bolus of that at 12.02. Uh, I had stopped fighting the stroke at this stage, uh, and it was a relief also to just get up to the ICU and rest. Uh, and then when I woke up again, I started pushing my left hand to see if I could get it moving. And by two o'clock, I could certainly touch it against my right hand, which is a relief. Yeah, the aftercare was great. Uh, it was when I asked Prof O'Malley if there's any chance of me not making a full recovery, he looked at me at six o'clock that evening and went, you have made a full recovery, which is very nice to hear on the day that you have a stroke. Uh, so I was kept in the hospital to, for prevention to make sure and find out why I had the stroke. And I got to say... 
I was very impressed with not only how professional all the staff were, but also how caring they were. Which I... So uh, what has my life been like since having the stroke? Uh, now four months later, I seem to be back fully recovered. Uh, I was a bit tired, a bit fatigued. Uh, the month after I had the stroke, I was back to work the next, the week later. Uh, I did find it amusing that the my HR department wanted to, me to give in a cert for the week I had off, which I kind of go right. I had a stroke, uh, but uh, four months later, I seem to be. Going full guns. I'm hoping to do a triathlon at the uh, in May. Get myself back. I'm back training for that. Uh, and my life has been has been very little impact of having a stroke, which is I feel so very lucky uh, for the time and place that I had it. Uh, the speedy response of my flatmate and my neighbours and uh, all the staff in May University Hospital who put me through so fast and and got it so that I have a full recovery with very few long-term consequences as far as I can tell so I mean I, I am blessed uh, and I'm very grateful I got to say to everyone in uh, the hospital thank you thank you thank you very much